Hey there teachers, I received a great question recently from one of our members in our forums about teaching this rhythm. It's one of those ones that appears in mid-intermediate repertoire and can often be a challenge for students. It's the triplet quaver or triple eighth notes over regular eighth notes. Uh, and the simplest way to start this, I find, uh, and your approach will depend on the student, uh, but I always start with a um, a verbal phrase to help students remember what this is. And the one I use is nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. If they can say that over and over and do a quick little tapping thing, then they'll pretty much get this rhythm quite quickly, I find anyway. So this is how it works. We say nice cup of tea. So I'm going together, right, left, right. Nice cup of tea, just on, on my knees. Nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. So that's a rhythmic three in the right hand and a two in the left. Nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. Um, to then move along from that, uh, one of the great challenges that I love sharing with my students is to get them to numerically count it as well. So count the threes and then count the twos. So they can go one, two, three, one, two, three. And also being able to count the twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, etc. That tends to take a Good week of practice, but they normally get it. And sometimes I record this on their phones too, just so that they can take something away with them and actually tap along with it. All right, once they can do that on their legs and they can say it, then take it to the piano. You could either just tap it here, perhaps. Nice cup of tea, one, two, three, however you want to do it. And then to a couple of notes. Again, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea whatever helps them remember. There's lots of different phrases. I'm sure you could come up with more interesting ones. That's just the one that stuck with me and seems to work okay. Uh, then you could try different notes in the right hand. Yeah, just a little melody, simple melody or a scale in the right hand. Uh, if they're up for a challenge, then you could do a C major scale or whatever scale with three in the right hand, two in the left hand. So it would sound like this. and back down again. So you end up two octaves apart. Just make sure if whatever hand's doing the threes, it's gonna travel further. So if you're gonna give that to the left hand, then start further apart, otherwise they'll um, bump into each other at some stage. So that's a good way to go. And then when it comes to actually playing whatever it is, so it's, I don't know, maybe they're doing or something in the right hand and that's their rhythm, then just again, tapping along. And then maybe one note. does do or whatever I'm just making stuff up but to get the idea so just breaking it down one hand doing something rhythmically while the other hand plays and then swapping over I think that can work incredibly well um, so that's my process for three versus two polyrhythms um, there's other ones for four versus three and things but we can get to that in another video hey just before you go make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching so make sure you check out some of those other ones here and I'll see you in the next video